To add some depth to a feature wall, installing shiplap is a relatively simple and easy way to add interest. Here's the soaking tub that we bought, which will be placed directly in front of this shiplap wall in our bathroom remodel. We ultimately decided on a pre-primed and painted MDF shiplap and trim made by Mitri that we found at Lowe's, which made the job go very quickly. Caulking will be applied to fill the gaps around the trim pieces. A compound miter saw makes your end cuts quick and clean. You most likely need a table saw to rip the trim pieces in the last piece of shiplap to fit for your height. A battery operated or air nail gun is not a must, but certainly speeds up the installation and will eliminate hammer dents and the need for nail setting. Shiplap is easy to install as you just need to nail the top dado to your wall studs. The next piece on top covers up the nail holes below. For the exposed nails in the trim and the highest piece of shiplap, manufacturer Mitri also sells a finishing kit which includes a color matched filler wax. MDF has its advantages over natural wood as it is truly straight and does not warp. One of the disadvantages of MDF is that it will swell if it gets wet. Being concerned about putting it in a bathroom, we emailed the manufacturer Mitri and asked them if it would be okay. They said that as long as the cut edges are treated with a primer or the like, it would be okay since the face is primed and painted. And of course, as long as it doesn't have direct exposure to water. When cutting your shiplap, as in our case with full length pieces, cut them just a hair long. 1 32nd to 1 16th of an inch long will ensure no gaps along the trim. You may have to bow the pieces just a bit and snap them into place. Better to cut a hair long than to cut them too short. Being able to nail the shiplap to the wall studs instead of gluing it to the wall will make removal a big plus if and when you decide to take it down. Repairing the wall would then only require filling small nail holes, whereas removing the shiplap that has been glued to the wall would destroy the wall by tearing off the drywall paper where the glue was. So that's it for the ship lap. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of upcoming videos as we continue to install the finishes in our bathroom remodel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.